Good morning. John Wallace, Operations Section Chief with the Southern Area Blue Team, here for our morning update. Let's start out with the Sturgill fire. Work continued on the shaded fuel break uh, on the eastern side of the Sturgill fire. Uh, again, most of the heavy work's been done in there, and what we're doing now is just cleanup work, running through that ground with masticators and trying to not leave a mess. We've got log trucks on order. They've started showing up to remove some of the heavier wood that uh, we pulled out when we created that shaded fuel break. Again, cleanup work. We don't want anything to go to waste. And so we're going to start moving all of that off of this shaded fuel break line in the next day or so. Still maintaining a presence down at Red's Horse Ranch. Want to make sure that if anything does pop up down in there, we're prepared for it. And that's going to continue on uh, probably for some time. So now let's move over to Double Creek. Uh, work yesterday continued along the western side, uh, the lower Imnaha Road, uh, the upper Imnaha Road. Again, pulling pumps, hoses, sprinklers, really cleaning up behind the firefighters. We've started pulling some of those fire lines back together, uh, covering them up uh, because there's no heat left. They're proximal to those lines. So all that work is ongoing and continuing. There was a little bit of heat here in this little area around Freeze Out Road where the fire came across our primary control line uh, about a week ago. Uh, and so firefighters are going to be in there today doing some seek and destroy missions, really trying to knock out that final heat in that area so we can start closing that uh, spot fire down also. The big story today is the southern end of Double Creek. Uh, we're inserting a couple of hotshot crews in here to try to really pinch this last piece off down in what we're calling Division Q, which is the Freeze Out Creek area. Um, once we get that pinched off, uh, the southern end will be looking really good and we'll be able to, to really close down all the operations that have been ongoing uh, down around the Diamond Head Ranch and even to points further south. So uh, this is a pretty critical operation for us today, taking advantage of the weather, getting in there and trying to knock out some of that heat that's uh, still remaining out on the landscape. Moving up uh, into uh, Division S, the Temperance Creek area, the, uh, um, this area right above the river, uh, still got cleanup going on there, trying to open up uh, a road going in there to uh, the Top Hat uh, Fire Tower, um, trying to get that snagged get the hazard trees removed from it so that as people start using that road again, they won't have to worry about uh, trees across the road. So that work is ongoing today as well. Up in Division Echo, the north end, uh, that Rhodes Creek drainage, that deep creek drainage, we got an infrared flight last night. There's still heat up in there and we're still watching it, looking for ways to, uh, to manage that. And so uh, there's a lot of discussions that are ongoing up there. And so, uh, but for now, uh, the heat in there is really isolated. It's not moving around. And so we're just going to continue watching it and uh, take advantage of it if it comes out to a place where it's easily accessible for us to, to work on. So now let's move over to uh, the Nebo fire. Been doing a lot of chipping work in here, yes. And uh, yesterday we completed all of our chipping and cleanup on the 3925 road. There's a couple of little small spur roads in here off of the 39 road that we're also going to be working on doing some cleanup work. Crews are chipping. They think they've probably got about two more days on these smaller spur roads. Again, just trying to clean up um, all the firefighting uh, mess. And, uh, and get this place back to normal um, so that y'all can enjoy your beautiful country. So with that, uh, I'm going to say end of report for today. If you have any questions, please contact our public information office and uh, they will be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.